and welcome back to Aubergine Reverie. So today I'm doing, I always start like that, I'm sorry, but I am, I'm doing a necklace video today. So I know that's something you guys might be interested in, but I'm going to be talking through all my necklaces. I know, a bit random. Basically I got the idea because there's like, people do those bag videos I feel like, where they talk through their like bag collection or their like shoe collection. Um, and I'm not really into like bags or shoes, but I am very much into necklaces. So I thought I just kind of, I've got quite, I've got a few of the... I've got some of the ones, basically my favourites, the ones that I wear the most. Um, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about them, where I got them from, why I like them, and what kind of jewellery I like to wear. Um, yeah, I'm really into my jewellery, definitely. I don't think I, I mean, yeah, I wear like, I wear like a necklace like most days, probably. This like, this is by no means like all my jewellery, but it's some, some of my favourite bits. Um, most of it isn't massively expensive in fact all of it's not massively expensive some of it is high street some of it's a little bit more expensive but i tend to keep things cheap because i break them a lot and actually a lot of these i've had for actually a really long time and despite only being fairly fairly cheap they still look great and they haven't broken or like tarnished or anything so i'm actually really pleased with some of the pieces that i have so i'm gonna start with some of the most recent ones and i'm gonna work backwards i think because why not so this is the thing I this is one of the necklaces I got most recently. Um so oh, this is right, it's just a bit of a bit of a weird story behind this one. So basically John, my boyfriend, bless him, for my last birthday in February, which was my 21st, he didn't know what to get me and I could tell that he panic bought at the last second, in fact he did. Um <laughs> he got me a necklace and it's not this one. Um oh, I feel so mean, but Basically, I I returned the necklace he got me and I exchanged it for this one. I mean, like, I feel like that's not something I normally do. Like, I don't think I've ever exchanged a gift before. But I think it was just because he spent quite a lot of money on it and I just, I just didn't like it. Um, it was like, it was like three hearts, like, down, like, in interlooped or whatever. Um, and it was, it wasn't ugly or anything. It's just really, really not my style. I really don't like wearing hearts or flowers or anything like that. Um, and just because I know, I knew that he, you know, he spent some money on it. Um, and it was like for my 21st, like, so it's something like a little bit, like, more important, more like, memorable. I just want something that I would like, know I would wear and like wear for like a long time. <sighs> so that's like my guilt there <laughs> for exchanging my boyfriend's present. But literally that's the first time I've ever exchanged a present. So I don't feel too badly. But anyway, it was at a local jeweler's where he bought it. So um, I exchanged it and I exchanged it for this beauty. Um, so this is made by a local jeweler. My boyfriend lives in Lee, so local to Lee. And I wish I remember the name. Um, I'm going to go back and check actually. So um, basically this was like half the value of what he got me. So I've got a gift voucher for the other half. I think I'm going to get another necklace from the same lady because they're just so lovely. They're like natural stones. And then she like dips them in like copper and then they get like this like met metallic thing on the outside. And they're really, really delicate and beautiful little pieces. And they're quite sophisticated, I think. Um, and they're just really nice. I'm not 100% sure on the chain to start with. I was like, I didn't really like the chain. It's got these little blue bits on it. Um, and I was planning on like swapping it onto just like a plain silver chain. But then I quite liked it, but I'm still on two minds. I still might swap this over um, onto a plain silver chain just so I can like I just feel like it's a little more everyday. And I think I prefer if it was a bit longer. It's quite high. I think I like it. It kind of came down to like here. I just think it'd be just sweet. But yes, yeah, so that's my most recent necklace. And the one before is also from John. But this one he did get me and I kept it. And it's definitely my favourite piece of jewellery ever. Um, so this is a unicorn necklace. And it's from Xena and Me, which is this like lovely little London based like small brand and they do really like cool cool jewellery. It's quite like um ironic, they have lots of like um things with like slogans on them and they're always like I can't remember, they'll they'll be like funny, they'll be like uh, like don't talk to me or like I hate you or things like that um and it's all very like punky and like bright and like but anyway but oh my god this necklace I just I just love it I wear it all the time, like literally way too often. It's so, it's just so pretty and it's so like fun. I feel like it's like, the, it's a perfect, for me, it's a perfect like bridge in between being like aesthetically like nice and like goes with outfits, as well as being like a bit like quirky and funny and like just a little bit different. Um, 
so yeah I, I absolutely love this and then so yeah do you know me is like a really affordable brand and most things are like they'll be like under 40 pounds that kind of mark um so not too expensive um but yeah you should definitely check them out so yeah love this then i'll talk about this necklace which is you're right this is just from like h&m and i think it was probably like three or four pounds but i've had this for about two years now and i wear it like okay i know i said i wear the unicorn one every day but i really do wear this every day because it literally goes with everything you know you can't go wrong with it it's just a plain it's a silver chain and then you got this like round bit here and i just feel like it just adds like a tax of like looks like sophistication to like anything obviously being silver it goes with literally anything yeah i just feel like this was such a cheap necklace but it hasn't it's just lot like it's quality so like people i feel like people look down on like buying jewelry that's not like expensive like not from a jeweler's but for me like i never really saw the point in spending all that money because it just it looks the same and it's it's just the same it's just like you know that it's made of gold rather than like zinc or whatever <laughs> don't mean zinc copper something cheap anyway um i literally don't see the point in spending a lot of money like obviously i would spend more money on jewelry for the design but for something simple like this like if you can find something beautiful like this i just i love this i love like the elegance um just like why not why wouldn't you want to spend less doesn't really make any sense to me but yeah love that so i got this one in paris it's like this and um i think i paid 20 euros for it it was quite cheap it was like in a like a street market thing the guy was like making them himself and i don't know what stone it is i don't think it's anything in particular to be honest i think it's probably just glass but i just love how it looks and there he like hand coiled all the wire around the edge for me like himself in front of me and it was like he was didn't like two minutes like shh, which is crazy um and i love this i love the length of it especially like i really like long pendants um but it's adjustable because it's got these little it's just thread that he did himself but it's like tied in those knots where you can like pull the edges out and then you can short it and like think but i always wear it long and i just love it it's got this kind of like an art deco feel to it i think like it's very like vintagey and again very simple again love and then this is the very last necklace so this one is from New Look, and it is a tiny bit broken here, just a teeny bit, but I'm planning on fixing this. And I've had this for like three or four years, and like it just looks, it looks great still. It's like a really, I think this necklace is really fun, it's very like festival -y. it sits really nicely on, and it just adds an extra, extra, extra layer. To um twenty outfit basically I love I love the detail on it it's got like it's like sparkly without being too sparkly and it's like edgy and like pointy basically this is my go-to statement necklace that's what I'm trying to say <laughs> this is a yeah this is my statement necklace I love the colours on it because color it's got colour but it's not gonna clash with anything it's not too bright and yeah I think I paid about ten pounds for this about four years ago and it's just doing so well it's only broken a tiny bit here um yeah quality quality and yes it's tarnished a tiny bit around the neck but only the back and who's gonna see that like i just it's not like it leaves my neck green or anything like that so i really don't see the point the problem with cheaper jewelry so that was my little those are my necklaces that i like to wear kind of video thing so you probably you've probably seen most of these necklaces in like any outfit posts or videos because i wear them all the time um, but I just thought I would kind of talk through and tell you where they're from and why I don't like buying expensive jewellery because I'm really happy with all the cheap jewellery that I have. Um, yes, I upload videos every Saturday or occasionally on Sunday if things don't go to plan on the Saturday because that does happen sometimes. But every weekend, normally on a Saturday afternoon, I upload and I put the link on my blog and I put it on here, obviously, because this is YouTube. And yes, so please like and share this and check out my blog because i post on my blog every day so there's always loads of new like beauty and skincare and makeup and sometimes fashion sometimes recipes i like to mix it up keep it fresh but yeah check that out too and i think that's all i have to say i think i've rambled for long enough so i will see you guys in the next one have a great week and a good weekend goodbye